This video explains the meaning of the dollar operator in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So generally speaking, the dollar operator can be used to extract certain components from data objects in the R programming language. And the dollar operator can be used for different types of data objects. And in the first example, I want to show you how to use the dollar operator to extract certain data frame columns. And for this, we first need to create an example data frame, as you can see in lines two to four of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame object is appearing at the top right, which is called data. And now we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line five of the code. And then you can see at the bottom that we have created a data frame that contains five rows and the three columns x1, x2, and x3. Now, if we want to extract the values of only one of these columns, we can use the dollar operator to do that, as you can see in line seven of the code. So in this line of code, I specify the name of our data frame, which is in this case data. Then I use the dollar operator and after the dollar operator, I specify the name of the column from which I want to extract the values. So after running line seven of the code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that only the values of the column x2 are returned as a vector object. So in this first example, I have explained how to use the dollar operator to extract column values from a data frame. However, it's also possible to apply the dollar operator to other data types. And in the second example, I want to show you how to apply the dollar operator to a list object. And for this, we first need to create an example list, as you can see in lines nine to 11 of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new list object called my list is appearing at the top right. And then in the next step in line 12 of the code, we can print this list to the bottom in the RStudio console. And then you can see that our list contains three list elements, which are called A, B, and C. And each of these elements contains different values. Now let's assume that we want to return only the values of the list element B. Then once again, we can apply the dollar operator as you can see in line 14 of the code. So the syntax is quite similar compared to the data frame syntax. So as in the previous example, we simply have to specify the name of our data object, which is in this case called my list. Then we have to use the dollar operator. And then after the dollar operator, we have to specify the name of the list item that we want to extract. So in this case, we want to extract the list item B. So after running line 14 of the code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that another vector object is returned, which contains the values that are stored in the list item B. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.